Oh, what's up everyone and welcome to my Monday Night Raw review after the shit fest show known as Backlash last night. And even I fell asleep during my own review. I felt like I did because I felt I closed my eyes here and there because it was so bad I just didn't care at one point. Um, you know, overall Backlash was just a shit show. We pretty much needed what we need to go over. If you want to see everything, go check out my Backlash review. Like I said, there was only one really good match. Everything else, shit hit the fan. Horrible, god-awful pay-per-view. But uh, getting into Raw tonight, or as I like to call it, the Marathon Show in Long Island, New York. Kurt Angle pretty much, he came out and he started talking about how the WWE never stops and they run 52 weeks per year. And, you know, the the schedules they do, that happens and... They travel the road all the time, and it's insane, which, um, I, I don't know why he was talking about this first, but at first, but we already know it was leading into, um, and I will say they do have a crazy, like, and they, they've been on a crazy schedule for the past few weeks anyways, from going to Saudi Arabia to back here for pay-per-view, they're going up to U Europe next week, I believe, too, in the UK, so they'll be back over there next week, um, it's a really, it is an insane schedule going on right now when you look at it. But and again, WB has always had an insane schedule going on. But um, it was time for him as we go, let move past Backlash. It was time for Money in the Bank as Money in the Bank will be six weeks in Chicago, Illinois. Will I go to that show? I'm not really sure right now. But he said these matches are going to kick some butt and... Strowman came out and he asked Angle if, um, you know, about he was a kid and the other kids in school. They talk about building the he talked about building a treehouse for some reason and they never asked him to help and they talked about him and uh, they had some stupid handshake to to get in the treehouse and Strowman said, you know, he waited. I don't know why he's talking about a treehouse for some reason. He said he waited for them to get in the treehouse so he could knock it down and. And he said Strowman's been on a roll until Kevin Owens came out. And he started talking about Strowman and saying that he is the MVP of Monday Night Raw. And that Strowman has been a bad monster and needs to go sit in the corner. And he wants a spot in the Money in the Bank qualifying match because of the stuff he's gone through for months. So he said that Stephanie McMahon was going to be watching this. So he should be the first entrant in the Money in the Bank uh, qualifying match. But, um... Kurt Angle says, you know, it's going to be Strowman versus Owens right now. Which, um, at least this wasn't really a squash match, to be honest. But, um, yes, did Owens show fear and stuff running from Strowman several times. But, um, uh, he did was able to try and get a, he tried to get a counter loss, but it didn't work. But if there's one thing I, I will say, um, with Strowman, you don't want him running into you. Especially him doing those shoulder blocks. On Kevin Owens, if I got, I feel like Kevin Owens is about to fly into the crowd at one point. He was getting knocked, like very knocked. It was like three times Strowman did this, knocking Kevin Owens all over the place. Boy, him with a power slam for the win. So yes, yeah, Strowman will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, they went to talk to Roman Reigns then, as once again talk about Brock Lesnar and he handled his business and. You know, he's the uncrowned universal champion, but, you know, management disagrees, and, you know, he said he can't handle the backstage politics going on, but, you know, he's going to handle what goes on in the ring, and he said he silenced the haters and doubters, like, just go ask Paul Heyman, Lesnar, Samoa Joe, and he says, you know, he doesn't really care about him, or Sami Zayn, or Finn Balor tonight in his triple threat match. He's going to go out there, control his yard, dominate and win, and be in his destiny to become Universal Champion, which he got multiple. What chance? Was it a good promo? Yes. Do fans give a shit about Reigns? Hell no. But that was actually a good promo. Uh, I will say that. Him showing some fire. Trying to get this up. I'm um, kind of giving, getting over. So it wasn't bad, but... That match last night was very bad with Samoa Joe, and you saw fans walk out of the ring, the arena, and multiple chants. So that was really bad. Uh, for some reason, Brazongo want to be in Money in the Bank. There's a lot of tag teams, and this you know qualify for men and women. So you go from Bailey and others too. 
Uh, Goldust wanted to be in the Money in the Bank match, which I forget Goldust is there at the time. And then, um, Jinder Mahal wanted to be in, but Kurt Angle says, all you've done on Raw is lose ever since. And he says, you know what? You go against Chad Gable, and I'll consider you being Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, Corbin, Baron Corbin, The Revival going against Titus Worldwide and No Way Jose. Corbin, which I see gets into a lot of Twitter feuds, it looks like, online very much. And I thought he was against one of the people I listened to online, Wrestling Soup. Uh, I'm to look at those tweets, I was listening to something about it. But I've been hearing Corbin keeps arguing with people on the internet and showing off his Ferraris and and everything. Or what was else he show? 401k? I, I don't know what's with Corbin. Corbin blocks a lot of people on Twitter, I believe. And I was reading some of it, too. Of who, of why, I don't know why he gets puzzled, puts himself in these arguments for, but this was not much to say from this six man tag. Corbin gets the win, gets it back on No Way Jose. Not much to say here, don't really care. Moving on. Uh, a match that was really good, but I felt the crowd was very dead. And by the way, this, this was a very dead crowd tonight for um, Long Island, New York. They did not give a shit throughout time and time during this show. Sasha versus Ember Moon versus Ruby Riot. This was a really good match. And I really did like the spot when uh, Sasha pretty much did like a... I, I guess it was like, uh, not a senton, but almost like a rollover senton. Like, just jumping over the turnbuckle and not even having to stand up all the way. Just kind of rolling through it. Landing on the Riot squad and then it was a suicide dive by Moon on Ruby Riot, and for some reason the fans start chanting Rusev Day, and yes, and you deserve it, which literally looking away from the match, they just looked at it just to chant something, I, I believe somebody proposed, if I remember, and this was a really good match, I'm surprised nobody didn't really pay attention, people were really quiet throughout this match, and it was really good, and yes, um, the Riot Squad got involved and attacked Sasha, and then Bailey came out for the save then, uh, Sasha tried to get another bank statement on uh, Ruby Riot, but Ember Moon came out with the double eclipse, um, picking up the win. As now she advances into the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, but yes, this was a really good match to watch. It's just no one gave a fuck and wanted to watch something else in the crowd. But like I said before, it was a proposal. That's why I was so confused when we were chanting Rusev Day and it was Yes Chance and You Deserve It. And I, I, I don't know why. They missed a lot of good stuff in this match. So. Why I missed it? I don't, I don't know, but it was just really bad. They even talked to Ember Moon as she says she was over the moon, cat jumps over the moon or whatever, but, um, you know, some consider it's an underdog victory, but she's going to go to Money in the Bank ladder match and get the briefcase. Uh, so that was good. Um, I guess maybe the Raw or SmackDown one, but I hope soon they get... Now, now we're going to go back to Nia Jax thing. That was already horrible promo enough for that PSA announcement. Uh, they went to Bobby Lashley then. And I saw us get a lot of hate on the internet tonight when um, I was looking on Twitter when he was talking about himself. I'm not sure what to think on all of this, to be honest. Um, I, th I This promo of him came off very likable, I will say that. And it, the, the whole video package was his life um, from being in am amateur wrestling to going collegiate to going into the army, uh, going almost going to the Olympics, but he had um, a knee injury from him having going into the military to be in freestyle wrestling. Then he was going to go to the Olympics, but I feel like I heard this story already um, when Lashley said something about this. And, I know there was one story about him getting shot and a bullet grazed him in the back of his head in some bank robbery, but that, I think mean, that was on impact he told that story. But they talked about his MMA career, and even in WWE when, yeah, he was the ECW champion and the US champion, and uh, they saw what they say, yeah, like WrestleMania, so they, they, they say it was a WrestleMania, but they did not mention that Battle of the Billionaires or Donald Trump or... Umaga, others, they say he was at WrestleMania, but, you know, they say he's left the WWE for over 10 years now on a hiatus, and now he's back, and Renee Young did, like, a sit-down interview with him, which Lashley talked about who he is, and how he was blessed, and, you know, his family, and he talked about his three sisters, and, you know, he, and he kind of talked about how his sisters used to beat him up, and tie him to a tree, and knock him around, and 
chase him with a broom and then he talked about his sister having a security towel and some bully took it from her and got it dirty but Lashley went back and took that towel and shoved it down the bully's throat and got him and talked about um, one of his little sisters carrying um, I guess it was a helmet or a dad's helmet and I don't know if it's a scar or put it on Lashley and he I think has a scar in his eye right now that never left and you know he just looked in the camera saying that he loves his sisters like I, it, listen I think this promo made Lashley look like a very ni nice guy and I've seen interviews with him that makes him very likable but does this have anything to do with him being a face or heel or if he's turning heel or not listen Lashley needs something desperately because people have not given a fuck about Lashley since he's came back okay listen if it's one thing I can say about TNA about one thing they booked Lashley very great in the past few years before he left Impact And made him to a star, so I, I I will give it give them that. But like I said, all I really got from this whole interview was just Lashley's background, his amateur wrestling, collegiate wrestling, being in the military to his, him being WWE before MMA career, and right after now, yeah, they gotta skip what he did in TNA, and he put on some really great shit over there. But this is kind of where we are right now. Um, but he's just. He just came off as a very, very nice guy, unless he's turning heel, but all I heard was just him, all of in the background is him kind of getting bullied by his sisters here and there. But I guess we'll see what goes on from this. Maybe he does turn heel, but Bobby Lashley really needs something right now because people are really cold on him and going silent on this. Uh, Sami Zayn talked about conspiracy theory. Kevin Owens about this whole money in the bank thing, so he's going to win and they become the universal champion. Um, they didn't talk to, who they got to talk to in that talk, but uh, it was Jinder Mahal. Was it Jinder Mahal? Uh, yes, Jinder Mahal versus Chad Gable in a rematch. Uh, there was not much to say from here. Mm, other than um, him actually getting the win on Raw, I'll give him that. But yeah, he beat Gable, but. I don't think no one cared for this match. And then near the end, I saw a beach ball for it. He kind of went to them selfie promos. And you hear some people chanting, asshole, asshole, to someone taking it. I don't know why these sentient are trying to get the money in the bank when doing these things. And Bliss going back to the whole bullying and her little promo Snapchat thing. I'm not really sure where it's going to go on this um, money in the bank. But um, I don't know. Some of the comments kind of odd. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre went against Heath Slater and Rhino, which as soon as they put Slater and Galloway McIntyre into the ring, you immediately heard loud 3MB chants. Okay, very loud 3MB chants. Don't be surprised if Jenner's back out with him for this whole 3MB thing, but, um, yeah, McIntyre and Ziggler, they won with the um, Claymore Click slash um, Zigzag for the win. Uh, I don't know where this tag team is going to go, but I'm sure they'll be the champions very soon. And maybe Art Drew Galloway will be a single star on his own. But, um, I don't know what it's talking about. Mm. I don't know why I'm yawning again, but, um, who was I talking about? How did I forget that that quick? I don't know why, but, yeah, the Ziggler and, um, Mac Galloway's a good team, and I don't think, uh, I think it'd be a bet on his own, but, um, it was a good tag, man, show just going to get showcased. Elias came out then, talking about being, uh, interrupted by last night by Bobby Roode and New Day and others, and, Talk about Billy Joel since it's Long Island, which was a Rusev Day chance. Nobody doesn't give a damn about Rusev Day. Now I'm going to sing my song until Bobby Roode came out. Nothing much to say from here. Bobby Roode got the glorious DT win. And then kind of cut a promo on it. Say he's going to be in the uh, next Money in the Bank ladder match pay-per-view. So, not, not much to say from this tag match. And he just kind of got on the mic and say he's going to try and get his way to be into the uh, Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Or in the Money in the Bank match itself. So.
So, yeah, not much to tell you from this tag match. Uh, Seth Rollins came out, burned it down, say love it or hate him. He Miz took him to the limit, and now he's the Intercontinental Champion. And, you know, people talk about being money in the bank, where he says, I don't need to be. I've been the money in the bank counter before. I'm trying to make this title important, all right? Um, then, of all, he, he issued an open challenge, which for some reason we get Mojo Riley, which I figured he had an open challenge for against Rudy the Rumble. Um... Mm. Mojo Hmm, what was that? But uh, Mojo Riley then was the open challenge, which I really did not care for, but there was Zack Ryder chance saying woo 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 we want Ryder, which he's actually there and didn't get that big of a pop when they showed him on the screen with Kurt Angle. But um he talked about Mojo Riley says Monday Night Riley and how I took out Zack Ryder and Talk about how crazy it is, and um, it's, it's Long Island. I don't know why Zack Ryder was not on this show. Even I said he could have put him off for the hometown thing, but this was a good match, of course. But this is one of the things I did not care about just because it's Mojo Raleigh. But he did have a good match out there with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins won with the curb stomp, so not much to say from here. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt beat um, Dallas and Axel. Still don't know what their team name is. I guess they addressed that Wyatt and um. You know, Dallas are actual brothers, but nothing much. I, I don't know, man. Not a lot going on, especially with the heels, if you ask me, especially in tag teams. But, um, th this is not much to say here. Double Sister Abigail is over. Then the main event, we had the Triple Threat match for a Money in the Bank qualifying match. Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, Finn Balor, which Reigns got immediately booed, and it was a cheered when Sami and Finn uh, took him out. And yes, was this a good Triple Threat? Yes, it was. People thought um, Reigns was going to win just because they're going to keep pushing Roman Reigns to, to, to pass the freaking galaxy. Um, pretty much, uh, they did take out Reigns in the match as Sammy and Kevin Owens battled each other in in the ring. Um, Finn was pretty much kind of coming back at Reigns then as um, after Reigns came back and he was about to hit a coup de grace, but Reigns dodged it. Which uh, hit, got into a Superman punch and Reigns was going to hit the spear for the end. But Jinder Mahal came out, which he got cheered. Surprisingly. But hey, everybody hates Roman here, so he got cheered. Sammy hit a Haluva kick. Finn hit the shotgun drop kick on Zayn. And then a coup de grace. So Finn Balor moves on to Money in the Bank. Do I believe Roman Reigns will still be in Money in the Bank? bank? Yeah. Because he's going to have to face Jinder Mahal sooner or later. Since now this is a feud. I'm sure Vince would have liked this feud on SmackDown anyways between these two but uh they're gonna try to build this thing up into something but i see reigns winning and somehow becoming being in the money in the bank um past the freaking galaxy raw this was a marathon show and someone made me tired by the third hour listen backlash was already crapping up this was kind of bad too but um yeah, this was Raw tonight. This was just get people in the Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank. Hopefully they have a better build-up than they had in the Backlash. Was it was a lot of, it, like I said, Marathon and stuff that sucked tonight. Yes, it did. Jer uh, Long Island, New York is very kind of a bad crowd. I thought Jersey did better last night. But this was pretty bad. Uh, really quiet. Like I said, they were silent through a lot of this whole show. But um, that, that's my take on it. Uh, but... I guess we'll see what happens next next or tomorrow night on SmackDown. I'll release uh, more money in the bank qualifying matches on there. I'm actually kind of glad I did not do live reactions for Backlash because I would have wasted my time doing it after watching that show. But we have six weeks to money in the bank. Shy town Will I be there? I don't know. But we'll have to find out and see. Comment, subscribe, check out my review for Backlash, of course, on the page channel whatever i am out of here i will see you guys later peace out